This video is on the basics of how to use your email in Gmail or the Google platform. First of all, we're going to talk about just what's on the basic window when you open it up. At the very top, you see a search bar where you can search through your email. If you have a lot of email, you may want to search for a certain person who sent you an email or a certain topic that was on an email, and that allows you to do so. Um, to the right, you will see a question mark that is for support, online support if you have a question. Next to that, you see a gear box that's for your settings. Um, I recommend you just don't even worry about that. Just leave it the way it is. You also have to the right of that the waffle for all the other Google apps. So you can go over to Classroom or Slides or whatever else you need. To the far right, you have your um, account logo, usually with your first initial, and that you can access your account uh, settings from there. Down the right, um, underneath that, you will have your calendar button where you can access and update your calendar. Um, and below that, you have some other options like keep and task, and I will let you explore those on your own time. If you look back on the left, the main button that you're going to be using is the compose button, and I'll get to that in just a second and show you how to write an email. Just below that, your inbox, that is where all your email will show up and it automatically defaults to this page. And um, this page, there, this person has not received any email, so you don't see a list of anything. Um, so their inbox is clean, but as you get emails, they will appear um, on this inbox. Below that is a starred um, category. You can go through and star certain emails and they will move into that starred box or folder. The snooze button, I don't think you will ever use. That's mainly for um, teachers or business members who want to not receive any new email, maybe because they're in a meeting and they can say, okay, send me all my email tomorrow at this time. Um, below that, sent is very important. So let's say you think you sent your teacher an email or you sent a group member an email, you can click on sent messages and there will be a copy of every email you sent, who you sent it to, what it said, the day and the time. Even if you delete the emails out of here, you guys know in 2020 that once you have typed it on a computer, it never goes away. So again, remember, this is school email, so keep it school appropriate. Below that is a space called drafts, and you might need this. So let's say that you're in the middle of typing um, an email and the internet goes down or you have unreliable internet service and your email, whatever you started, is not gone. If you click under drafts, you'll be able to open, finish, and send that email. And once you send it, it will move from the draft folder into the sent folder. Underneath the drafts in the down arrow, there's a bunch of other categories, most of which you will not use. However, there is a um, trash can. So let's say you threw an email away. You can click on the more, go down to your trash can, open up that um, trash can with all your emails and remove that email and send it back to the inbox. If you need help doing that, just let me know. Um, and again, I will let you explore all those areas. Um, if you need any help with that and you're at Taylor County Middle School or Taylor County High School, you can always come by and see me on this harp. All right, so back um, to the top, let's take a moment and look at the Compose button. This is the button you will use to um, create emails. So to compose an email, it's very easy. Once, once you have clicked on that Compose button at the top is a two section. You just start typing part of the name of the person that you want, make sure that you select the correct person from the autofill and don't just you know hit enter on the first person. You don't want your email to go to the wrong person. Um, subject, it's always common courtesy or good manners to give a topic uh, so people can quickly see if your email is important or not. And then if you notice down at the bottom you have all kinds of options. There's a, a undo button and a redo button. You can change the text, you can change the font, the color, bold, italics, underline. Um, 
You can also left align, center align, right align. There's a bullets tab. Um, there's justifications, quote marks, all different things you can do with the text. Um, also at the bottom, if you look and find the paper clip, that's where you can attach a file, which you may need to do um, if you're sending your work to your teacher or to a classmate. There is also a link button right beside that where you can send a link. You can insert emojis. The triangle is to access your files on your Google Drive and upload those. You have a picture or photo icon to upload those. You have a timer where you can um, set to this email. Like I could write it at 3 o'clock in the morning, but I could say send it to my teacher at 7 a.m., which is a nice thing to do. Um, and then finally, um, you have your send button. So once you put push sent, it's pretty instantaneous that that email goes across and the person receives that email. It will show up in your sent folder. Um, if you have any questions, again, let me know. Again, thanks for watching. And remember, you can always rewind and watch this video as many times as you need to.